So as I said at the end of the last video, um, this is an ungraded task, but something I strongly encourage you to take maybe 10 or 15 minutes to complete on your own before you move on to the next video where we debrief this activity. What I want you to do right now is to explore only this uh, when green flag is clicked blocked, which again came from the events menu, and the various blocks in the blue motion menu. And I just want you to explore for a little bit. And what I want you to look at is different combinations of blocks here, what each block does, and I want you to come up with different ways to have the cat move from the center of the stage to the upper left hand corner of the stage. And so let me give you a, a, a really simple example of this. Right now the cat is at the center of the stage. By the way, you might have seen me do this once or twice already. Let me show you a quick little cheat. Anytime you want the cat to move around on the stage, um, when you're in programming mode, not when you're in you know, actually playing the games or the videos or the programs, but you can actually click on a sprite and move it around. And so I'm going to just to make my life easy to, to demonstrate this for you, move the cat to the middle of the stage. And then I'm going to, in my case, I'm going to have him turn some number of degrees and move uh, 200 steps, right? And so when I did that, now he's in the middle of the stage. I'm going to run this little program. And he went, well, oh, he didn't go to the upper left-hand corner because I didn't want to turn 15 degrees. I wanted to turn maybe 55 degrees. Let's try it again. Oh, much better. That's close enough to the upper left-hand corner for this activity. I want you just to see what you can do, see what you can learn about these blocks and different ways to move the cat to the upper left-hand corner. And while you're at it, I want you to give, be paying attention to these different parameters, these different white blocks that you can use, and see if you can start to figure out from a teacher perspective and a mathematical perspective what's going on with motion on the screen.